words versus deeds. For now, the fraternity Sigma Alpha Epsilon is perhaps the most famous fraternity in America for all the wrong reasons. It's also been disbanded from the campus of the University of Oklahoma at Norman for all the wrong reasons. Despite what you may believe, it's been disbanded because it got caught on tape and it embarrassed the university, period. Consider this a silly racist chant among teenage college students lands several of them with immediate expulsion and the closure of its house in neighboring Missouri. An entire city targets, oppresses, and exploits millions of dollars from a black community, Ferguson, and lest we forget, kills them on a whim. And who gets fired? No one. Oh, there's some resignations, yes, but not one firing. There's a world of difference between the two. In Oklahoma, the most powerless people on campus are handed the most extreme sanction, expulsions. In Missouri, Politicians and police who conspire to loot, exploit, and bleed an entire community for years, and no one gets fired. Wow. What's worse, racist words or racist actions that hurt thousands of people for years? The University of Oklahoma, founded in 1890, could have used this as well a teaching moment about the way racism moves from one generation to the next and how closed systems, in-groups, perpetuate these ideas. The university, while disclaiming these ideas, could have used its history department to teach the roots of those ideas in America and Oklahoman history. If it has an African-American studies program, it could have been a time to shine by providing a study program for SAE members. But first and foremost, it could have defended the First Amendment principle of freedom of speech and used the light of reason to flush out the power of hatred. Instead, a 19-year-old is marked, perhaps for life, with a brand of racism for being drunk and stupid and mean. After the shock wears off, bitterness will fill his soul. College, of all places, can't jump the gun for PR reasons. It must use opportunities to teach, to enlighten, to broaden consciousness for all students, even those, especially those, who love to sing about hanging niggers from imprisoned nation. This is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Oh. Oh yeah, black sun in the hizzle, off oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got a extreme show today, but first I want to say the views and opinions of that of the arena does not reflect that of Comcast, its staff, or affiliates. With that said, viewer discretion is advised. Let's get to the show today. You probably one one wearing this mask here. King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia has declared us atheists. You went straight into the show then. Did you introduce who we got oh, on the show? I'm sorry. Did you hear the affiliates? Right. The, right. the right. views he, and opinions? No, I said that. That's extremism. I said that. I said that. that. I said that. that See, he's so deep into it. Yeah, I'm no good. Right. He said that for him. All right, let me introduce my comrade to the right, my atheist no brother. No doubt. No, no, no. Introduce yourself there. Ian the Atheist, man, former co host of Black Atheists of Atlanta. It's my second appearance on the arena, man. Glad to be here. Yes, sir. Hey, man, y'all know me. It's your man, Vincent Cheeks, actor, activist, entertainer all around. You know, your humble host. Uh, appreciate you being here, Ian. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a good show today, man. It's your man, Yanga and Kruma. Uh, coming out, you know, yeah, you know, representing. Let me say this from the offset, though, you know, <laughs> since, since I will be representing Islam, that... All praise is due to the creator of the heavens and the earth, Allah, who is perfect and, no, and makes no mistakes. And any mistakes that I make in my translation of Quran or in my statements are purely my own and not reflective of the Most High. Peace. Okay. I'm going to have to slide this gavel over to Vince. Slide the gavel over to Vince. He was very impartial. All right. We'll see. 
uh, this is what we got for y'all on the show today. First, before we get into this extremist show, I want to say a special thank you again to Mr. Uh, Freeway, yeah. Ricky Ross, who was on the show last week. If you haven't peeped that show on YouTube, the Arena Uncensored, we got 20,000 hits in four days. So it's a great show, man. Appreciate Freeway Rick, Freestyle Entertainment for being here. Uh, man, so to the present, <clears throat> Today we're gonna to be talking about ISIS. We're gonna be talking about Craig Stephen Hicks. We're gonna be talking about Islam. And we're gonna be talking about atheism. So to jump right in, I'm gonna give you some background. Everybody knows what's going on with ISIS. They killing everybody everywhere over in the Middle East. They chopping off heads, they burning people. Um, it's bad. It's bad. They're, they're on a, a, a real terror streak, and a lot of people are dying in their wake. Uh, and then on the other end of the spectrum, we have Craig Stephen Hicks, who is the atheist that uh, actually killed three Muslims last month. Um, they say it was over a parking space, but we all know how that goes. So he actually shot three Muslim students uh, execution style, if you will. Uh, so we're gonna get into this, uh, but before we do, in memory of D. Shahadi Barak, Yasur Muhammad Abu Salah, Salha, and Razan Muhammad Salha. You know, condolences to the family, rest in peace. All right, where we wanna start? Craig Stephen Hicks, ISIS? Cause ISIS, man, they over there, they're kidnapping Christians, they killed 21 Coptic Christians last month. That's right. Chopped off their heads uh, simultaneously. Uh, they dressed them all in orange jumpsuits. Right. Lined them up on a beach. And then the executioner stood behind them, spoke some words. Someone gave a signal, and they chopped their heads off at the same time. Uh, there was also the incidents <clears throat> with ISIS burning the Jordanian pilot. Right. Uh, he had got captured. He was fighting for the U.S. coalition. He got captured by ISIS, and ISIS put him in a cage out in the desert, set him on fire, and basically said it was in retaliation for the U.S. coalition killing 20 of their brothers. Mm -hmm. And they have a saying called, excuse me if I say this wrong, al Mathalia, al Mathalia. Okay. Which means to punish the way that we were punished. Allah forgive you for that. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you got to say that again. I don't know. If you better hope. Uh, but, yeah, they, they have this punishment that says we will punish you in the same way that we were punished. So, they, 20 of their men got burnt. So, when they captured the Jordanian pilot, that's why they set him on fire the way that they did. Um, and then the Chris Stephen Hicks, man, he's killing Muslims because... You know, he don't like religion. He has all type of anti-religious re rhetoric on his Facebook. <laughs> I object. Exactly. What's the objection? The man killed because of his parking space. Because of his parking That's space. Right. Yeah. That's right. He want goddamn white privilege, right. white and That's right. You understand that? There's no atheist white doctrine power. to tell you to kill. <laughs> and there's no atheist deity telling you to kill. Exactly, and I think that that's the whole point. That is the problem. There's, there's, okay, there's, well, no, there's, no, okay. there's no doctrine telling you to kill. There's no deity telling you to kill, and that's the same. No doctrine or no deity you telling you not to kill. Where's the moral? Uh, where Obvious. does he morally stop? Right. What is the thing? Where's his moral? Yeah, moral conscience. What stops him from a CD? My problem with the atheist thing is that when you don't believe in that you have a responsibility, an obligation to a higher power, or that you're going to answer to a higher power, then the only obligation that you have, or responsibility that you have, or the only thing that you're going to answer to is yourself. I can agree with that. Well, oh, yeah. that is 100% that, wrong. That's, hold on. That's that was that? 100 percent wrong. You okay. have a moral okay, re, code. Rebut. Rebut. You have a moral code between humans. Okay. To follow what you you use your common sense. That is all you need. Okay. Because nobody could dispute if somebody tells you. Nobody could tell the difference if somebody tells you to kill or somebody doesn't. That is your own belief system. Yeah, exactly. But you I mean, cannot if you prove that Allah told you to kill, and you cannot prove Allah told you to save. No, you can you 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 can prove it by the, the doctrine that you say that you adhere to, which is which is the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad alayhi salatu salam, present peace be upon Muhammad. Uh, mm -hmm. You're saying that this is the doctrine and standard you're going by, just like you say to an atheist who has no standard to go by. To this apparently by this Craig Stephen Hicks, 
even if it was for a parking spot to an atheist, that is a death offense. Right. No. Right. No. You know, that's, I mean, that's, that's you make a lot, that's, of leaps, a lot of leaps. No. Yeah, no I mean, go ahead, what, go ahead. what let he him said. Okay. Go ahead, Black. First of all, Craig Stephen Hicks took it upon himself to make that uh, decision. Number one. Number two. I know a lot of Christians and a lot of Muslims believe that Allah and God will punish them. Why don't you let God or Allah do the punishment? Why does man have to impose the punishment on the, let's say, the adulterer or the, the, the robber, the stealer? Why does man have to impose Sharia Allah and cut? Why can't God come down and cut our hands off? Or why, 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 why you, as men, got to do the work of this God, supposedly? God doesn't come down. Because he put us here. Give me this goddamn cowboy. <laughs> he put us here. He put us here. To have free will. Now, first of all, let me say, I'm not a Christian. You're okay. supposed to be impartial. So, hey. so let me say okay. You're a creationist, though. We are pro evolutionists. Right. right. You, you, you're basing that on your belief. You're everything that you speak. <laughs> creationist. You know, these yes. are monkey boys. Yes. 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 Everything that you're saying is based on your belief. Okay. okay. Well, everything well, everything you're saying is okay. based question. on your belief or your unbelief. No, well, everything I'm saying is based on my disagreement with your well, belief. Allow him to answer okay, the question. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which you ahead. asked about go why ahead. the Most High doesn't come down. He doesn't come down because he put us here. First of all, he put us here so that we would all learn to get along with each other. That's first and foremost. Okay. But he leaves decisions up to us, hoping that we will make the right decisions. And as humans, we all know that we do not always make the right decision. You know what I mean? He's up there. He gives us guidance. Wait a minute. He gives us guidance. He gives us guidance and instruction. And you either choose to follow that guidance and instruction or you don't. Let, let, and, and, and let me add to this. But, In the Sharia, you have to understand about the Sharia. The, the Quran contains aspects of the Sharia, but every city, every people, you have what's called Qadis. You have judges. You have uh, uh, sheikhs, you have ulama, these scholars, and they are like, uh, for lack of better words, or what would be the equivalent of the so-called politicians that you have here in this secular, uh, demonic place that we're living in. Well, you talking who about have, this democracy? Yes, I'm talking about it. Got that and, good and, 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 and who, who, who have laws based on the one percent or based on their desires? But these ulama. These qadis, these judges, they go in and get the laws based on the word of God, Man. based on what is beneficial and advantageous to the whole of humanity and not to just the one percent. OK, when you say this God, OK, based on this Quran, based on this Bible, this Torah, you're basing it on a man. Or what men man? have compiled this together. So my thing is, how do I know God talked to these people? In That's fact, right. this is what you're saying. Let me use your logic. God, oh, la, la, la. Okay, God just told me to yeah. tell everybody on this panel to put $1,000 in my bank account. Exactly. That's okay. what God just exactly. told me. I mean, so how do you exactly. check that? And I wouldn't be able to. How do you determine And I that? wouldn't be able to. Dis I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try to dispute that. It may be. You but just like, we're saying, we're I, 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 would, I, I wouldn't oh, dispute I, it. I can't. Argue. Okay, but let, but I can't argue, argue with you. Right. Do even better. Do even better. Hey, hey, one at a time. One at a time. A better example. I, I can't. I can't. One. Let me address that. I, I wouldn't argue whether or not God told you. Possibly your God may have told you to do that. But the thing I would ask is, is your God, is this way of life that you're presenting to me advantageous or beneficial to me? God says that you. That's where God human moral code God, comes in. Exactly. It's a but human moral code. It, it's a human moral code. But how, how long history has shown us that human beings based on their own morality, based on their own reasoning, their own reasoning. Are, are prone to subjugate other human beings to oppression and exploitation. Look at the through transatlantic... Through the name of religion. Through, through, look at this through land, the name of religion. Right. Through the name of religion, leaning on what? Their own understanding. They, can't, they didn't teach us. See, they teach their religion to one another what is advantageous to us. They teach us from a spiritual past, past, prospect. We weren't allowed to read, we weren't allowed, but had we been able to go in there and decipher the word of God for ourselves, to go in there and understand what God had in store for us as a people, we would have been advantageous. The communities the, of, of, of African people here in America who go in there, the Hebrew Israelites, with uh, a lot of them, look how successful and strong their communities are. The oh, Islam oh, Imam oh, oh, Jamil Abdullah Alami, okay, right. I'm, as as opposed to the non, as opposed to the non-religious people 
who don't have communities. The community of Imam uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jamil Abdul Alameen. Mm -hmm. You look at how strong that is economically, politically, unified, as opposed to the people who don't have religion. Because they have went in there, they have stopped listening to people to interpret their religion for them, and have went in there and found themselves in the word of God. Let's see Yang, you're not gonna compare economics, because I can bring up a whole bunch of black people who don't believe in mm -hmm. no God at all, and have very That's right. fine economic That's my question. communities. Like, Atheist countries have lower crime rates than religious absolutely when absolutely. you don't have when you don't have a moral code to stop you from anything and you would knock a man's head off no, from jail walking, a lower crime that's rate. what i'm telling you Atheist and when the country. system when you look at the oppressive system look at the people we were talking about earlier stalin my Mao Zedong. Right. Hell yeah, they got a lower crime rate. Look at these, <laughs> look at these tyrants. These dictators. I mean, these dictators. No, I'm talking about present day. We're talking about present day now. And I would challenge you. I would have to go in and look at the human right. Look at. I would have to look on uh, uh, to see what their yeah, human the rights highest, violations would be. The highest human rights violators are goddamn Saudi Arabia. They uh, they beheaded a woman for sorcery. Are you sure? You would no, have to I'm bring positive. me that. You would because right now I'm hearing that it's one. I'm hearing it's an atheist country named China. Okay, okay, well, well yeah, let me say China's this. China has <laughs> never executed a person based on sorcery. There's no such thing as sorcery. Okay, they've executed people for trying to exercise political rights. What are you saying? And so did Saudi Arabia. Oh, well, I guess we, we're, we're, we're saying the same thing. I guess we're, we're saying, saying the same thing. That, exactly. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying is that you're going to judge by something. I would rather have a doctrine that's saying, you know, that this is all of us go by this. We, uh, this is what God says for us. This is what we're all going, we're all, we practice uh, egalitarian, we're all equal under this doctrine than having no doctrine that's that some man talks about the human nature of man. And right now, I, your wife is my wife. No, right no, no, now, no, no, I no, should no. have. First of all, what's to religions, right, religions be the first one to do that. Let's look at Dr. Malachi's York. I can go on. No. A religious organization that actually do that. Mormons. But right. I'm saying, what's to stop, what's to stop an atheist? The same thing as a religious person. The what? police, the law. <laughs> <laughs> no. If we're talking about in, in the heads of those governments, if they was getting the heads of the governments, if they were in the heads of what would you have to balance it? You can't tell me I can't sit here and rely on the good nature of a human being. Wow. Wow. I don't, so don't, I don't think that history has and shown me and I can't that rely. that would be a, 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 a flaw. Let me ask right, you this. Right. Said, and, and I can't but, rely on the nature of somebody's interpretation of some book that somebody else wrote. Exactly. That's right. Right. Let, me, let me ask right. you a question, Yanga. Do you believe that a person has to be religious or spiritual in order to be righteous? And then after he answers you, I'll continue. Question. You know, so. To be righteous? To be righteous. You, I, I, I need to know the definition of righteousness. Basically, basically, to right. be able to uh, no, self, self, self correct and self regulate and, and do the right thing at, when when it's called for to do the right yes. thing. Okay, you know well, I, mean? I personally feel like it's wrong to eat meat. So killing animals just so you consume, I feel like it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's my personal mm -hmm. belief. Well, you wouldn't force I, it on yeah, nobody. I'm you wouldn't write a law and right. say nobody can't eat meat right here. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. That'd be imposing on you guys. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I say, man, you go out there slowing that goat, you're wrong for that. You're taking away life. Yeah. I'm. So, you see what I'm saying? So, let me put it to you this way. Do you believe that a person has to have that God source? I, in I order believe to that be a person to has a moral to, conscience. And I believe right that here? a person has to have, uh, feel a sense of obligation and responsibility and a sense of uh, um, something outside of them. I think that they have to think that it's bigger than just them. I don't believe in individualism. And, and my fear is that a lot, of, especially atheism and a lot of these other ways, promote individualism. And I think that it, if, no. if, if you, just like we go back to, to Craig Stephen Hicks, if it was about a parking lot, what was the, what was the red light that goes off in his mind right. that says, white privilege, this, is, white entitlement. This, is not, this is not right? It's called white privilege, white entitlement. Crazy white man syndrome. That's what he well, How would brain, how brain racing it is? What because race it, have because to do it's over a parking spot. That's white privilege, white so, entitlement. That has nothing so to do with atheism. It's just so, like on. the Jordan Davis case. When the Michael Dunn guy said, turn your music down. Mm -hmm. That's just an angry white man. Right. So you don't think this man's Facebook post about mocking religion and uh, just, he had a lot of anger and hate towards any type of religious organization. Yeah, but he also had hate towards his neighbors, whoever took his parking right. space. So whoever was in that parking space, he had beef with off the top. Do you He's think, like, that's my parking space. Do you think space. had they been... Uh, atheist that he would have went to that extreme you so you're telling me that his disdain for organized religion or any religion didn't play a part of his taking it to that extreme right because Not this wasn't all. this wasn't the first time he had an incident with these three students exactly. that he killed right he had uh i think they said about a month before he had gone they were at the house 
playing a card game or a risk. I don't know what that is. Right. Think, but they were playing the game, game right. uh, risk. And <coughs> when their people left, he came to the student's apartment with a uh, with, gun with a rifle. Right. With a rifle. Not that he had a, the 357. He had the rifle that time. Okay. And he went to their door. He didn't point it at anybody, <coughs> but he had it. He had the rifle pointed down by his side, and he went to the door, and he was. <coughs> <laughs> mad and complaining and yelling you don't need to have these people over here y'all were too loud and this that and other so it's not like he hadn't encountered these uh muslim students before so there was a, a little background history between them so again that leads me to believe that there was more to it than just because the first time when he was there with the rifle <coughs> there was no uh parking parking space incident okay, there right. was no or nothing that you could clearly say was personal to him. He just thought it was being loud. I don't know how loud you can get playing a, a board game. I don't know. You, you know, know what you mean? research his personal life. He, he had a lot of problems. I think he was on his second wife. He lost custody He was on his, his second wife. Okay. He had a lot of internal problems. So, so he, blamed, he blamed God. He blamed God. He didn't believe God. That's what I'm asking. I didn't know. He had no belief so in God. So what's, what, was your, what was your point of saying that, that about his background? That, that contributed that, to that, his that, anger, uh, his frustration in life. He had a buildup of yes, pressure. Yes, he had frustration. In no life. God, no peace. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you saying no peace? So yeah, them, them goddamn Libyans that got taken over twenty ones, they got no peace either. Well, they got peace of the sword. Was that the um, Christians? Yeah, the Christians. Yeah. Yeah. The Christians. I'm gonna tell you, man. I I I, tell, I question the whole ISIS thing anyway. You know, I, I question if this Wait, is not. Wait a John is real. John is real. I question the whole ISIS thing is not being, um, first of all, we got to understand politics. You know what I'm saying? The United States has problems with Iran and Syria. Anyway, what better way to get in Iran and Syria than all of a sudden you got this Islamic state of Iran and Syria pop up, and this is an excuse to bomb certain parts of certain territories of Iran and Syria. And if you want allies, what better way to get them to get a Jordanian and some Egyptians to draw them into the fight. Right. You yeah, know what I'm why, saying? Why, why uh, give them ammunition? Because when you talk about the Quran, it does say kill unbelievers. Yes. It does kill, say that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So why, yeah. why would it you says, give the CIA, says, says, why would you give the CIA fuel? Ammunition. Why, why would you do that? What, 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 what they do exactly is that, exactly and, they do, and yeah. they do exactly what they want. The people who don't, right. wait a minute, check me out. Okay. Who people who don't study Quran to do that. It does say kill non-believers and, 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 uh, uh, the and other people to get that's them. that's all they needed, but it's like any it's like any verse when you don't read the verse by uh, before it or the verse under uh, that's it. Right, that's why I'm going to the book. They're gonna twist it. No, it ain't just twist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just it's about reading. Okay, it's okay, like hold on, hold on. Tell us it's, about the it's verse like, above and under. Go it ahead. says fight them until uh, it says fight them until war is no more, and don't fight them when they don't fight you. When they cease fighting you, you can cease fighting them. But they will never do this. It's like reading half a paragraph. Yeah, but I've but, never heard the don't fight them. And, to the, I wish, and some told me to bring my Quran. I, yeah, I've never Sometime, heard And that. what I will do, and I challenge anyone, and, and call out our number lines, Muslims out there who have a Quran, or look it up on, the, on your computers. Okay. It says when they cease fighting you, then you should cease fighting them. It tells you to prepare for a day because Allah has told us that they're not going to like you. You go against every perversity. You go against every, every desire that they have as personal individuals, and they're not going to like you. So okay, prepare so for war. They're going to prepare for you. Are there beheadings in the Quran? Beheadings in the Quran? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. And they're acting out the people in the Quran, ISIS. Is, are they acting out people in the Quran? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. But it's, I okay. mean, that's so what people do. So you it right now. How, that's, what, that's, what, that's what people do. Are we not acting out people who predecessors who came before us? What do you mean acting out? And the, in our language, in our dietary habits. And things that we I'm do. I'm talking about extreme stuff like yeah. beheading. <laughs> I mean, in, in anything <laughs> you do, in anything you do, they're gonna do. They're gonna act out the beheadings as more symbolic. That's not how they're fighting I a war. They're enacting. Me, they're, they're, they're enacting that when they're fighting a war. Who are they imitating? They're imitating Western powers. They're not running out there, Lord, but with swords. Where did they get that AK-47? Where did they get? You got cats and flip flops. Where did he get that twenty million dollar rocket launcher? Where did he get that surface to add the missile? Allah when the brother, him to go get it. But who right? gave it to him? Where did Allah tell him to go get it? Allah said, read around the corner, the CIA got this fight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. I mean, I, so it's just, it's just so the same way. So then if you bring the Islamic terrorists, then the, the CIA and the people sponsoring them must be more Islamic than they are because they're aiding the Muslims. Okay, well, let's, 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 let's take... They're using the book to con them. Okay, I want to say time out from 
the terrorists. Let's talk about King Abdullah, a country, a legit country like King Saudi Abdullah. Arabia. That were goddamn the one that called you terrorists. Yeah, the one that called us a terrorist. I can believe that. Would you say atheists are terrorists? I would. Okay, let, right. let's see. I see it has the potential to be go a terrorist. Go he, he asked me, would I say that yes. atheists are terrorists? First of all, let me say I don't have a vast personal knowledge of a lot of atheists. Okay. okay. You, you don't need none. No you, God, you, no proof, you, no proof, no God. That's, <laughs> right. that's all you, you need. Right. You two. That's all you need. Might be two and three of atheists that I've known personally. So, but in the in the sense in regards to that, do you hear about a lot of atheists killing people or do you hear about a lot of atheist terrorist groups? Now, they are out there. There, there are some uh, Where, really? local, some, some Where? domestic uh, Where? terrorist groups. Where? Let me see. Name one. Your, your boy, your brethren, uh, Craig, Craig Stevens. He, 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 he self proclaimed. He was part of. He the, never registered in my registry. I'm king <laughs> of the atheists. He's never registered. That's how your kings do. You disavow people. <laughs> <laughs> he was part of uh, the militant atheism for the soul. Not the, the militant. The militant, the militant Lord, atheism have mercy. for you the know soul. About the, your break off brother. <laughs> uh, the United Atheism of America. And atheists for equality. Where's was it part of that book? black atheism um, of America? So I'm, I'm sure they had. <laughs> where's the code book? book. But yeah, where's the code book? For me to answer your question, uh, I I couldn't. I don't have a, enough information about atheists to say that they're terrorists. Right. So but I, I, I have, wouldn't make that. I do have enough information on Islam, Christianity, right. and Judaism, and, and Judaism. they all say make sure you take over. I'm just paraphrasing. Yes, and make sure people fall under your religion. Like, who who told religion. you that? Man, I read, man, I read these you didn't, books. You, from who? I, I read Surely not Muslims. Right, well, next question. Right, right, right. Was Moses a terrorist? Okay, okay. Was Moses let me, a terrorist? Let me, let me, let me go, go back. Ahead. Let's go back to the terrorist thing. Is an atheist a terrorist? I'm sure probably in King Abdullah's country, uh, in Saudi Arabia, atheism, uh, atheists are terrorists because atheists are going against the status quo. Atheists are going against the very law and the very uh, way that that government flows. But it's human now, nature now, to disagree. Human nature. It to disagree. If you look at atheists, in the in the scope of Stalin and Mao, like we said, Stalin had twelve to twenty million Christians killed. That's pretty terrorizing, right there. You know what I mean? But as far as modern day, if it weren't for Stalin, he would not. We'd all be saying hi to Hitler right now. He the queen of Hitler. Stay on task. He's the <laughs> of Hitler. No, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm no, sorry. No, no. But I mean, so and that, I guess you could say, have there been atheists? Terror groups, I guess you would have to say yes if you look in, in regards to those uh, two gentlemen, Stalin and Mao, uh, because they killed mass amount of people, uh, not Christian, Muslims and uh, Buddhists, uh, in their atheist attempts to, I don't know, whatever, take over the world, whatever they were trying to do. So in that respect, I guess you could say that they're terrorists. But me, I would never think, when I hear the word atheist, associated with terrorism. It's because you're living in this country. That's a valid point. Also, no, well, you're, you're looking this at country. They yeah. denounce Craig Stephen Hicks. Uh, exactly. No, they 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 denounce, oh, did they, 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 they denounce Craig Stephen Hicks? They keep they, saying, oh, they, well, they didn't find it as a hate crime. Right. That's they, what they, I'm saying. They, right. they, exactly. they're, they're still supposed to be investigating if this was a, exactly. ha a hate crime. Exactly. Can tell me it's white privilege. Why? And they got on about parking lot. They were actually right. they're actually right. looking out for the man. Parking space. Nobody, nobody kills anybody. Execution. I agree. But it's it's you you we agree. On what the man did, but I'm saying it's white privilege, white entitlement. You saying it's atheist? I I'm, disagree. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that's what they said. He was an atheist. I'm saying that. No, he's I, I, exactly. Right. And and I'm and I'm saying that I've believed that that played a part in pushing in the extremism and in, in how extreme his actions were. I'm also saying this: when you're looking at, I think a lot of times we don't look at what country, what influences. We, we've been under, when we judge something, when you're talking about Islamic terrorists, they said they're going to come to, who is they? Who oh, said they're going to do that? Hey, have this, the Muslims, this is have the, let me country. tell you something, how many Muslims are in America? If Muslims decided that we wanted to do something over here, then it would be a lot more noise than you're seeing now. There are a lot of Muslims that are integrated. In fact, Minnesota, I think it was Minnesota had accepted as a politician one of the Muslims that swore in, or that had to fight them to swear in on the Quran. I think he was Allison, Allison, I think, yeah. 
Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Ellison, I think it was. You know, First so 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 we so we we're, we're all over here with this. So I think that a lot of it is you're looking at the cultural perspective that you're looking at something. If I'm in an Islamic country governed by Islamic rules, and someone comes over there and say, "Hey, we want to watch porno, we want to eat swine, we want to look at your women naked, we want to smoke herb, we want to start crips and bloods he over here," he should be able to do all of that. Yeah. But okay. That's in your mind. That's what makes him a terrorist. And when the government, when the people have said, and their government is running a certain way, says we don't do all of that, and he's willing to take up arms and fight us and fight against our government, then he's a terrorist. To you, he may be a freedom fighter because you're an atheist. And atheism is just a thought. I never said nothing about raising guns and throwing throwing guns. All <laughs> atheism is saying is I don't agree with your right. concept, your make believe. Because at the end of the day, we see it as make believe until it is proven. Oh, okay, right. okay. That's what oh. we're saying. It's belief. Because right? you That's keep right. the key word you keep saying is belief. Well, belief. I can, I can belief. interject faith and that'll go down a whole nother path. Faith, faith, right? Faith, right. faith is not every, everybody faith got faith that. Everybody, everybody got faith, hope and faith. Faith, 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 faith Faith and belief are two different things. I'm but I'm going to tell you this. I'm sorry. Just one, ahead, one question okay, I got. All right. Monday, did you not prepare for this show? Yeah. Monday. How did you know you was even going to be here Sunday? Did you believe you was going to come here Sunday? Based on past evidence. Oh, 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 no, you had a belief evidence. of faith you yeah, that you, you had a belief in evidence, faith. Yeah. Patterns and evidence. God says there's signs in it nature experience. for man of understanding. I can go through patterns and evidence to show you. Uh -huh. I can go through patterns and evidence to show you things of why I have a faith and belief in a God. Like you can go through patterns and evidence to show me why you have a faith and a belief in some things that haven't uh, taken place yet. Like Sunday, like today's no, show. There's more than one right. person could co-sign what he's saying. I, I right. got more than one person who can co-sign what we're saying. Co-sign God, well, we got exactly. And you get the same. If somebody said describe God, you guys would get the same. It's no, like, no, 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 no. I'm not saying describe God. I'm saying describe God. Like that's like asking me to to ask you describe how this show was going to go exactly Monday. No. You can't no, do no, that, no, but you no, believe. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, it is. But we you can describe but this you, right here. This is what you can all of us could describe. You can right? describe so all of us. He, see here's what I'm right saying. Here, right? Here's what I'm saying. All You're not us. answering my question. Yeah. How did he know patterns of evidence? Just because you have patterns of evidence of what happened prior, that he did, he's been doing it for the last couple Sundays. Right. How did he know? That why would he even prepare for today's show? Why do you even get him prepared for tomorrow? But why you would, haven't seen tomorrow. Okay, but you don't know you, tomorrow's going to be okay, here for okay. certain. So, so whether we can go in circles with this debate, but what I'm saying is how could a people kill and want to run a government based on something they cannot even prove? Who exactly. doesn't because do it? It's we exactly. do. Everybody it's a does law. it. Uh, everybody yeah. does it. No, what I'm this saying. This country is doing it. Even okay, this their court of law is based on Christian principles. Let me tell you okay. Even though as they a, may not be. As a black national, I'm nation. saying this today. I'm declaring this. Without proofing, now you're going as black nationalist. I thought you were going. Yeah, as, well, he said even, his country. So even even, even as a black nationalist, no, no, no. I separate myself from anybody who operates without any proof or evidence. Every, everybody yeah. does it. Every country does it. Listen, this is one of the right, failures of the African man here right, in America. Right, right. This is one of the time, this is one of the failures of the black man here in America is that we don't plan for a future. We live in day to day. This European or uh, the found the founding fathers of this country, they had a vision. And they did what it takes to manifest this vision. Mm -hmm. They have faith, they have hope, and they believe called the United States of America. I agree. Right. Nationalism. So, so, so everybody does it. So it's the same, but when you apply it to God, then it's, then it's, then it's, it's, it's some spooky, oh my God. It, you, it, saying right. you know what I'm saying? But we're doing it every day. You. Huh? We're saying there's no external force influence us. You're saying there's an external force talking to you and directing you and making you make decisions. There, we don't operate like there's that. There's no external force influencing you because you've decided to block him out. Oh, that's, that, that's what it is. If you choose, bang, bang that, bang if that, you man. Choose, bang that. If you choose, block how do I open the map? If you, if you, if you, you, if you, if you choose, if you choose to make that connection, how do you make a connection? You can talk to him. I Look, you sound like you're goddamn scared, so. <laughs> you sound like you're scared. Exactly. You said you see your voices in your head. Don't help him out. 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 Tell me how to talk to God right now. All you have to do is say, God, I want you to prove to me that you're real. Give him a, a, a reasonable okay. length of time. Okay. Before that length of time is up, he will prove to you that he is real. All right, God. If you, if you, if you, if you <laughs> okay. And I'm not, and I'm not saying be uh, condescending no, and patronizing and all that. But if you really, I'm saying with a really true heart, okay, want to know. Can I call him Zeus? 
call them whatever you want to. It's your, my thing as a spiritual. Can I call spiritual, them a spying for spaghetti monster? As, yeah. a, as a spiritualist, from a spiritualist standpoint, your my relationship with God is my relationship with God. His relationship with God is his relationship with God. So God, I'm God, glad you God said forms that. relationship with people on an individual basis. So my problem is when so it that's becomes, why we say if you if if if, if we. If you asked us to describe God, would it all be the same? No, yeah. it wouldn't, because he deals with people on an individual Man, basis. You can get somebody, we can have an act. This has been proven already. Every three people can see an accident. Right yeah. there. Your proofs, facts, evidence. Mm -hmm. And ask those same three people to describe what happened to accidents, you're gonna get three different oh, well, I mean, you know Mike, what I'm the Mike Brown shooting. Exactly. So I mean a lot of your argument is not really sound well, arguments. We're not arguing. Because no, not, we're argue, not argument okay. in, in that debate, sense. Debate, your yeah. debate. Yeah. Oh, we're not your, even what, what, what you're putting out there no. is not sound. I mean when the proofs come to you, Listen. you're saying the very what this, proof? wait, wait, wait a minute, wait There's a minute. Here's what I'm saying. When what is offered as a evidence the very thing that you're saying is no evidence. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me get out of this. Let me get out of this, this guy. <laughs> yes. when, when evidence are presented to you, the very thing that you're saying is not sufficient as an evidence, you will take is is the same thing that, that you can't present as an evidence. Let me right. see. Let me go, go, back, go back to this. No, no, no. Like I said, you say, like he said, describe God. Right, right. And what you just said, I'm glad you just described All it. three of us would describe no, no, no. that gavel differently. No, no, right, 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 right. But at the end of the day, <laughs> right. we're not going to debate. If I let this go, we're not going to debate if it hits. We're not going to. It's certain things you just don't debate. If you got to debate God, that means you should be thinking, no, no, okay, no, well, no, it's not God about you got to debate God. 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 I don't have to debate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're agreeing to come on this show to talk about our God experience. We don't have to debate God. I don't have to prove I don't have to prove God to y'all. God has to prove himself to you all. I okay, don't have so to prove that. See, we, he so and I have why, different. Why, so, so why is not God talking to us? Why are you talking to us? Why is Jenga talking because to us? Because y'all have, have an what invited. We're you have an invited. We're, we're not going to come to you unless, see, we you, have different unless you give him a invite. My thing is, we like Islam different tells views. us, and Islam tells us is that your hearts are closed. He, does, he doesn't, I'm sorry to sound complaint, he doesn't want you. We don't he's want not. He, exactly. That's we why he don't want you. Don't that's why, so, it's, so, so he's yeah, not. So, so it's not. Right. Okay, we, so if now, you have a God, let me tell you something. If you have a God, if my God, let me tell you something. If my God had to come down and prove himself to you, then I'm going to worship you. If you make my God come prove himself to you, I'm worshiping the wrong God. If you bad enough that he got to really prove his, the creator of the heavens and earth, the one that keeps everything in balance, got to come and prove his existence to you, then why the hell am I not buying him to you? Okay, so let me they say this, brothers, because I'm, 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 I'm seeing Craig Stephen Hicks, a, a white male, and I'm seeing ISIS, Arab Muslims. I'm seeing at the end of the day, you know, you know let me just keep it real, Yanga. Most brothers that are, well, let me just say the, the few select that I know don't have a problem with me being an atheist. Y'all never try to enforce. Now, Gideon, on the other hand, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that I have a problem when people try to impose it. Now, everything you just said, it sounds good, nice freestyle and everything. At the end of the day, I'm going to say, I don't agree with it. Right. They and can't so prevent the evidence because you, you don't that. agree. Right. right. I, I am cool Okay, with but that. there's people cool out there that. that will kill you. You know what? Yeah. You know right. what? You're right. Vince. Name Craig give me, Stephen Hicks. Give, give me this goddamn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, Craig Stephen Hicks. Oh. This people out there will kill you. I'm out there right now. There is a pink unicorn in my car that spits out five dollar bills if y'all disagree to us if you don't believe that i swear i will gather you do you agree with that Not <laughs> my, my response to you is if that is what you believe and if that yeah, is, so if, if, you believe. if that is your relationship with god to to, to be manifested in a pink unicorn no, you just make anything up. Right. No, no, if that's what he if that's what he wants his relationship with god to be then Wrong that's answer. on yeah. him I want you to believe that there's a pink unicorn in my car. You're not gonna make me believe my, my, nothing. My, my, my I want you to believe that too. No, my thing is, my thing is this. My, my, my thing is this. Here's my whole thing about it: is that you're taking it to that street. Nobody. It's not about. That's not extreme. No, That's no, 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 no. It's not no, about. I know why he's doing okay, Here's, here's what you're saying. I would. I can say, really. Am I gonna get some of that money? If, is it advantageous to me? Right, I'm glad you said you say, that. You say, yeah, you get some of that money. I believe in the pink uniform and Black Sun's truck. Hallelujah, <laughs> 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 Is it going to benefit listen, me? Listen, listen. We're okay, saying the me. whole concept of God is ridiculous. Okay. Because I got a couple questions. Can God kill himself and can God learn? God oh, yeah, is all-knowing, so that, that there's nothing for him to learn. So he can't learn. 
No, I didn't say he can't learn. I said he's all knowing. So what is there for him to learn? He can't learn. Good question. No, that's not. Can he kill himself? You, you, now you're trying to put words right. in my no, mouth. No, no, no. I'm asking you this. 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 i am and I'm not even gonna try to speak for him. Okay, I don't good. know that. Yeah, I, 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 I will pray. Okay. I will pray and meditate on that. Because I, I don't know that now. Allah is our Okay. He is the Creator. He is outside of creation. He is outside of creation. Is it, we get an answer to a question. So that's that's your answer. In order to die, you have to be created. That's true. In order that's to die, true. you have to be given life. That's a belief. Now, now in that, order to die, you have to be. So how you kill something that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't, that ain't living? What I'm saying he's is not that, living. How do you kill something that's I not living? He was living. It, so, to, according to whose understanding? I don't know. He's I, I outside, of he's outside, outside of the living. He's outside. He's outside of the living. He's the creator. He's no so material. He's that? immaterial. He's immaterial. So how do you prove that? Wow. He's not. How, why he's do not I? Why, we're no, talking about he, immaterial. He he's this? immaterial. Material is created. Anything created, he is not. He is not anything created. If you can phantom him, if you phantom God, that's not God. He's outside your phantoming. Wow, he's outside he's your understanding. He's outside your understanding. Wow, so why are we talking about him? Why are we talking about him? That's why he gave you, why do you think you have the laws of nature? Why do you think you have science? Man has gotten arrogant. Allah says oh, in the Quran, oh, he said, He said, man, he said he gave, nah, he gave man the ability. Oh, hold, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said he gave man the ability to reason. He said, I gave man the ability to do science. I gave man the ability to do mathematics. Now man thinks he's self-sufficient. He said that I taught man to do because you live on a material earth. You live on a planet with resources, with water, with trees, with sun, with, with, with vegetation, with animal life. You live in this world and I give you mastery of all of that and you forgot the one who gave you my, I don't come from none of that. Okay, so there you I'm go. not none of that. What you, what, what's in your world, I'm not none of that. It's just like, do you believe in life on other planets? I was just about to say that. You took the possible. words right at my mouth. Possible. It's possible. You believe in life. Okay, possible. so if there's a possibility of that. I don't have any proof yet. Okay, you don't wait for the proof. I'm, I'm cool with possibility. Yeah. So why can't it be I possible believe... that God is possible? It is possible. I, no, no, let me you say this. Say but, I, no but where's the evidence? I believe in life in other planets. Okay. Let me say this. I, I believe it. I wait for that. I, I I I I can say that. Like you said, it's possible. Yeah, I always believe no it. ISIS is killing people in the name that, of. But let me say this: if you have life, exactly. if you have life on other planets, if you have things on other worlds, then that's a whole different creation than th th that we are. Right. Even if it right. ain't life, even if it's a, a rock, uh, 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 some type of There's fossil no, or whatever, what I'm saying, it's from a different element and from a different creation. What I'm saying, Yanga, is that. I have a problem. The atheists are not the ones that are goddamn saying, you know, we're going to kill you because you don't not disbelieve. What we're saying is that y'all be having a conversation about spirituality or Allah. Yeah. That be y'all. Yeah. Your doctrine tells you to go spread, spread it and goddamn come I don't everybody. have a doctrine. Let me put that out yeah, there. Yeah, but you just ridiculed us for saying, you know, oh, we don't believe you. You're being no, real cynical. No, no, I'm not. Okay, well, I'm you not know what? I, I don't have a doctrine. Okay, you're, you're I don't, right. I don't right. adhere to the Bible. You know, I don't right. adhere to the Quran. Right, right. My relationship with God is direct, which is what I told him right. last you're, week when we you're talked right, about right. it. You're a religious man who want to smoke weed. I get I'm it. Not I get it. I'm not religious. I'm not religious. Why are you labeling me as I'm because not? Because if you believe in a God, that's based on religion. No, no. Why did you look at us crazy? Because we don't believe. When did you hear me say you crazy? That's crazy. No, when no, did you no, hear no. me say you? First of all, I've never said you anything. Look, look I've never, us. I've never okay. said anything negative about atheism. I've never said anything negative about, about Muslims at all. Because okay, on okay. my path as a spiritualist, my job is to worry about my relationship God with, with God and to do what God told Vince to do. Okay. And it's not for me to impose what He told me to do on you, on you, or on you. All right, well you pass. You're you have a strings. free will. I believe He's not even free will. You had the will, free will to not believe. You had a free will to not believe, and that's your choice. And I'm like this with it. That's. Oh, see, that's, you want to live your that's, life. You're that, not an extremist, but you got to You are I told care. You, because that's, that's, that's what we as African people, we get caught up in is the spiritual aspect. Even looking at the Sharia, we can get caught up in the spiritual aspect. What are we talking about here? What's the underlying thing? A political agenda. And we're saying that as Muslim, we can't rely. It's not about implementing the Sharia. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if, I, if, if I'm talking, I'm like, I'm like, if, if, if I'm true, no, 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 no. Here, let me say this, and I'm gonna say why. It's not about implementing the Sharia to the. You have to understand what the Sharia is. It's not about implementing the Sharia to make some some kafirun, some non-believers believe in Islam. We could care less if you believe in Islam. What we're saying oh, we is, die. what we're saying is, what we say. We don't. That's what. That's ISIS what. That's what the, what the Negroes. Know. Let me tell you something. That ain't the Negroes. Wait, wait a minute. Let me, let me finish. Okay, okay, let me. Okay, that's, okay, what that's what you Negroes. That's what you Negroes and religious people get caught up in. Spiritual people. Oh, is it, when we got that, we don't believe. Nobody gives a damn if you believe in Islam. What we're saying is, you and your deviant ways, your immorality. Yo, 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 uh, debauchery. You're not gonna your stop me from watching porn. Will not be, day. will not govern us as a people. We're saying that if you don't have something outside yourself that you answer to, then you're not gonna make us answer to you and your sicknesses and your perversities and your deviances. And we can say the same about Islam. That's yeah. what y'all yeah. saying. I mean, that can be, that's that what y'all saying. Yeah. So that's what, the, that's what the war is about. Okay. You know, that's what the war, that's what the war is about. The war is about. Which is about governing principle. We could care less if oh. you accept Islam or not. Hold on. That's not true, Yang. Right. You're hold saying on. Man, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let oh. me get a phone number because you said about 10 minutes ago get some calls. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, call in, please. We're having a heated debate up in here. 770-559-2999. 770-559-2999. Call in. Let us know what you think. Cause boy, it's heated up in here. Let me say this: They don't tell you about the Christians they freed that agreed to pay the uh, tax. Did you? Anybody hear about that? I did hear about okay. that. The Jizya, they didn't care if they converted or not. They agreed to that form of government. They agreed to the taxation and they let them go. It's those ones that wanted to probably but, be spiritual. We're gonna but, die in Christ, and so you're gonna die in Christ. But, I agree with Wouldn't you. They, yeah, yeah, I mean, most crazy. people would give in if they got a sword to their neck. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's common well, sense. I you. Right. I would. I wouldn't. I tell you that and right you now. You'd be a good old spiritual. Ba based, on, based, based on my faith and my relationship, with there's nobody. You'd be meeting them. You can, I will, and I would go happily. Send me home. Ain't and nobody, you're an extremist. Ain't, ain't you're an extremist. How, 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 extremist. I'm a Muslim. How, 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 and how, how, I'm a Christian with a gun in my hand. You're whoa. jeopardizing your life over ideology. No, no, no. That's extreme. My faith has been proven to me by God, and so because he, because he has proven himself to me. I'm willing to die for him. See, yes, I am. If, 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 if a Islam put, if, if a Muslim put a, a sword in my neck and say convert or die, they might as well drill some holes in my head and use it as a bowling They'd ball because I'm a dead mother sucker. They would I'm do not, it. You I'm are not, let me tell you what. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. That's extremism. That's, that's, At least that's, God thinks Muslim was wrong. That's cowardly. Yeah. That's how really. you gonna say you stand for something and believe in something as soon as somebody because, comes with a gun or because as a, as a, as a, and, and then you're gonna be like, oh, okay, you're right. I, I don't know what I'm I was saying this whole I'm time. This. I'm gonna just go with what you say. Black okay, because you got this say? sword and it, it's gun no, in my face. Black folk. Let me say what it one more. Why y'all keep trying to make this about race? Why would God save you though in that situation? That's a good question. Even even Muhammad even Muhammad said this. For him to save me, like you said, he would have to come down himself and save me. No, he doesn't have to. Even the prophet. There if, was a man. Let me say this about Islam. If, if, if there was a man. To save me, if he can send a, a, a ram away for him, a, he could do anything. He could do anything. If he if he wants me to be saved, he could. Okay. If he wants me to come home and join, okay. him, I'm happy. I'm okay. So when a little girl is getting raped, when a little girl is getting raped, he did not want to intervene. That's the free will of man. He gave us free will. When does he intervene? And he, and he when does this guy intervene? He doesn't intervene because he might as well be dead. He wants us to come to him. And what a lazy use him God as that a is, moral yeah. compass. You yeah. got I mean? all them yeah. powers, and you just yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not. That's not. That's, that's not. It's just the white moon that was, Yes, it that, does. Do, do, do. That's why you got to do it. In Islam's perspective, in Islam, I've been, been called worse by better people. There you go. So I'm just saying the concept is loony. For you to put your life for ideology is crazy. This is what I don't understand. Why does you mean just extreme as a Muslim? Why do atheists? Why do Muslims? Have to insult, put down, or whatever because I believe that. No, I'm not insulting no, 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 you. It's not personal. No, no, no. No, I said it's, it's crazy. crazy. Okay, let me say that. No, 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 no. I told it's you the concept of God is ridiculous. He said you're crazy. Okay, my question me, is, me my question it. is, why, in order, because someone believes differently from you, why does it? Why do y'all feel like y'all have to either insult, put them down, call them, whatever, in order to get your point across? That's that's my question. Okay, well I apologize. I'm saying, as a Muslim, I'm saying, I'm saying, because he does the same thing. Because they saying. cause you crazy as hell. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> let, me, let me let me say. But I'm the only one up here not talk, talking about not killing anybody. That's, that's, oh, that's, 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 but I'm the crazy. But you, you but, but see, I'm that's the why crazy. I say black folks. 
You the only one up here talking about not killing nobody but, but dying. I, but I'm the right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you gonna be yeah. for my belief. That, but that, listen, listen, listen how that sounds. Die you you call them then. crazy for killing somebody, but it ain't crazy to see and say I die. So I that's that. That's that sacrifice. That Christianity sacrifice. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. No, those are influxes of Christianity. That's cowardly. If you say, if you say you if you say you believe something your whole life, if you say you're a Muslim, yeah, and that's what you practice. That's your faith. That's what you believe. I'm trying to tell you what. Muhammad told us. Let me tell you what Muhammad somebody, told us. Somebody come and say, your, your God, your prophet Muhammad is this, that, and the other, he, and you need to change it to this, or I'm going to blow you. Okay, you right. No, you, you, you right. You sure let me tell you what Muhammad told us. Let me tell you. Yes, yes. Of course. Let me tell you what Muhammad told a man. That's yeah. cowardly. <laughs> let me tell you what Muhammad told a man, because see, that's why I say black folks, we ain't have a chance. We so ready to die for any damn thing. I'm going to get my power in the sky. I'm going to have my mansion in Jesus. But listen, what Muhammad told the man. The man was being the man was being attacked. I'm not saying you, I'm talking about black folk. I done been around black folks that don't worry about baby, I'm gonna get mine when I die. I ain't saying you said I didn't heard black folks say that. Right. The prophet, a man came to the prophet. He seen the prophet walking by, he dropped his head. This was after a battle. The prophet said, Why you drop your head? You on? He said, Man, when they, when they caught me, they tortured me, they told me to denounce you, denounce Allah, I said the most horrendous things. I talked about you in such a way. And the prophet looked at him and said, If they catch you, do it again. Do it, denounce me again. Talk bad again because you died. If you, your death would have served no purpose to us. Mm -hmm. But today you're taking that anger. You're taking that question. frustration. And you out here whacking heads Let off. Let me ask you a this question. This one made me denounce my God. Let so it's about, hold on one second. It's about, is it is it advantageous to us? We got to stop being, it's not about, that's why I, I don't advocate, let me say this because, well, I don't advocate killing. I don't advocate bombing of innocent mm -hmm. people, this and that. But I'm okay, saying this, this but I'm saying this. I don't advocate this, but I am saying this. I'd rather take a life than have my life taken in defense. Let me okay. say this. Let me ask this question. Okay, where would question. we be right now, since y'all want to keep interjecting race into this, where would, be, where would we be right now as black people if Martin Luther King oh hadn't God, died God. for what he believed in, if the freedom fighters hadn't died for what they believed in, if the, all the slaves that was trying to get away so they could get freedom hadn't died for what they, where would we be right now if they wouldn't have died for what they believed in? Man, I'm still, tell you we would we still be, be on the plantation. No, I'm going to tell you why they be. Question. We got to understand the depths of these people. Martin Luther King, as long as he preached an integration and assimilation philosophy, he was allowed to live. When he became a social story leaning towards socialism with that's the right. poor people's campaign, when he got with the unions, then he became dangerous and they murdered him. And so that's all. Don't, 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 no, 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Let me let me tell you. If you let me this this goes if he back wasn't to on the job. path that he was on, he would not he wouldn't have got killed. No, listen, listen. We got to stop thinking martyrdom is the highest form. I'm not. Of I'm success. not saying I want to be a martyr. I'm saying that if that option was presented to me, I wouldn't mind. How much I don't further? Want to how much further would Mount Martin be if there. his security would have caught that sniper? And 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 took down uh uh was it Oswald not what Oswald, Oswald. Uh, yeah. uh you know the guy I forget yeah, yeah, his name yeah. I'm a Jay Ray the some, some old crazy oh, white boy yeah, I, don't think, right I don't think you see the difference yeah, right, right. dying for human rights and dying for a deity that's gonna live forever but it's two different but things the is a, the deity, my deity is for human rights no I'm it's thinking, not I'm no, saying I, this I, I, I don't care what it is I don't care human rights black nationalism and I'm not willfully. Laying down my life. You got to come take it. You're not going, if you give me an opportunity to denounce this black national, denounce Allah, and I see an opportunity for a, a tomorrow to retaliate, to do something, then I'm, I'm not going to be so spooked out. I'm not going to be so, whether it's black national or religion, so I'm ready to come to meet you, Lord. Yeah, fanatic, but it's a fanatical well, well, that I'm just going to allow you to take my life well, like I'm, that. Let's get black national straight. Black national saying you don't, you don't kill nobody or, 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 or die for any ideology. We come to the table as men. You know what I'm saying? We've got to be humanitarians is what I'm saying. So I'm, as a humanitarian, I'm saying to the uh, 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 Muslims, to the spiritualists, to, to all you religious factions, is that your doctrine is anti-humanitarian. No, a, I don't have it a doctrine. Is. No. Okay, Why do you keep okay, trying to well, give me a doctrine? My doctrine is pro-humanitarian. No. Yes, it is. It says kill the unbelievers. That's, Thank that's you. total it, violation. It, it, it says it's kill the unbelievers. Does it say kill Why? homosexuals? Why? Kill the homosexuals? Yeah, kill, yeah it says it. 
No, uh, Muhammad said throw him from the highest building. All yep. right, thank you. That's it says, well, I, I I'm going to tell women, you, no, so. that's, you know why it's pro-human? Because the homosexuals don't, and this is not a knock on the homosexuals, but we're talking Islam. But they're humans. It's, but they don't procreate to human. They don't add to humanity. Oh, okay. So, what do you mean, okay? What do you mean, okay? What do you mean, what do you mean, what do you okay? So know, that's like, that's, that, what we're saying is that, that in a sense, it's parasitical. No. It's parasitical. They have to, they have to impose their culture on you so you can teach your children. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you can so you, you can teach up? your children homosexuality so they they can have someone to love on. Okay, let me let me because they don't create okay, their okay. own mates. Yeah, let, me, let, me, from let, 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 let me let me clear this up. I don't impose anybody imposing their culture. Your homosexuality is a culture. I don't believe it should be imposed. Okay, and that's right. all we're but saying. I do believe, right? right. That's that all we're saying. Islam should be imposed either. But that's all we're saying. You as Muslim saying okay, but, for but, on. but how do you know he's homosexual if it's not a blatant act in the society? You don't know what a man does in his bedroom. The problem Muhammad said, poke the eye. If the man is spying through a hole in your thing, poke his eye out. So he's telling you that what you do behind closed doors is private. But when you're in society, blatantly promoting a culture that is against what we have established in society, you have been told to get rid of that. That is goes against, so they're saying- Do what, they deserve a trial? Do they deserve a trial? If they, have pro if they, if they are proven homosexual, he said throw the homosexual off the bill. After trial or- before. He said, "Apparently, you have a tr apparently you have your proof and evidence." If he's saying throw the, he didn't say throw the man that is suspected of homosexuality. He didn't say throw the man that just suspicious might be homosexual. He said throw the homosexual off the highest. So, building. how is uh, uh, throwing a homosexual off the building being humanitarian? Because thank you. Thank you. He's saying because thank he's you. saying when you say humanitarian, <laughs> what is one of the things of humanity for the protection and procreation of human? Oh of no, 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 you're saying no, 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 no
I'm going against what I'm hypocrisy. telling you. What I'm telling you is is not it's not apostate. It may have some nefact in it. Okay, it may have some hypocrisy in it. It may have some hypocrisy. Yeah, in it. Like, and I'll be the first to admit because I'm not going. I'm not going like to change that. I'm not going to change. It. But I believe in Allah. I believe in His Messenger, and I know the Quran is the truth. You know what I'm saying? But, but what about me, the theocratic part? Though, here's, here's the problem I have with the theocratic part. I haven't seen where it would be advantageous to Africans here in America. The Arabs still run Islam, and as long as Arab people and other people outside of us still benefit economically and politically from Islam, then I don't think it would be good for us. That's like the tenth. Like he was saying with the tithe. The tithe, when you pay your tithe in church, I have a problem not so much with the Christians and their spirituality. I have a problem that that's where it stops at. Why isn't that tithe and that tenth going to rebuild? building the black Build communities. The Why isn't it doing the schools? Why isn't it edification? Because the churches yeah. used to be the center of the black community. When Islam, right. just like us as Muslims, when I want to eat halal meat, I have to go to the Arab. When I want to buy Islamic books, I have to go to the Arab. When I make Hajj, a billion dollar a year pilgrimage to Mecca. When I want to wear my clothes, I have to go to the Arab. When okay. black people, African people here in America start producing these things and start benefiting from these things, I'll be the first propon proponent of and probably will lead the charge of an Islamic society in this because I will see how it's advantageous to us as well, Africans here in America. You're putting stipulations on it then. I, I'm, you know what? I'm, not putting, on... I'm taking what the Prophet Muhammad said and I'm, and I'm saying what he said, but like the Prophet Muhammad told him, he said, even if your leader has hands of raisin, then you must follow him. I am taking it out of these race of Arab hands who right. have come and taken Islam and made it synonymous with Arab nationalism. Okay, I got right, one right, question. Got what is the Islam afterlife package? The Islam afterlife package? Yes. Oh, it's so wonderful. What is it? The Islam, <laughs> it's so wonderful. How, what is it? Um, it depends what level of heaven. There's so many levels. Okay. But it uh, basically it contains everything that you want. If you're living in a harsh environment, so we gotta understand why it was done. Islam is a motivational book. You living in the desert, so it's gonna offer you uh, streams, okay. and shade trees. Okay. You living in there, you can't get no women. These women are hagging. Okay, and that's my real so answer. Ask how, how many versions you getting up there? Uh, I forget how many. Okay. You I know what I'm saying? Me, if I go with mine, you allowed to have your wife. I'm asking for my wives. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want no virgins. I want the women that I was down here on the earth with, should they make it there with me. My thing well, is, political, my, boy. Yeah, my, 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 uh, my, you heard that, baby. I want you to heaven, girl. Uh, so my thing is this, when you look at Jinnah, when you look at heaven, heaven is anything that relieves you of your condition. If you was living in a harsh condition down here, my heaven ain't gonna be the same heaven as that de okay, desert. Okay, real hour. quick, what is the hell package? In Islam? Yeah. Different levels, oh, but man. some of it is the burning yeah. and the you know the fire and this and that. So it's like I said, it's it's all the conditions that the people know. It's motivation and incentive not to do right. There's no motivation and incentive with the Arabs. So I mean, okay. with the atheists. So what stops there's you a motivation? Because there's no afterlife. You got one life. And you're gonna treasure it. Oh no, man, no. That's right. <laughs> that means I might like, smash me some more. Right. No, 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 no. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Name one atheist suicide bomber. Uh -oh. You can't you can't ask him because he's dead. If he's a suicide bomber, I mean, I'm sure right now the atheists don't stand for anything political, so they haven't made any real political headways. If they, when the atheists stand for something political, it's never on atheism. Please, please. It's on the, uh, another religious, uh, 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 I mean, uh, not religious, but political ideology. Oh. I can name you some. I can name you some crazy ass atheists. Huey P. Newton, one of them. Do we keep going on some crazy ass atheists? Wrap it up. This is going to segue into the whole cultural thing, because I agree with Yang about them goddamn Arab Muslims, just like that white atheist. So oh, with that being said, we going to wrap it. Peace. Peace. Peace.